Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. As someone who can resist anything except temptation, yet another Sig Sauer Legion Series pistol. One thing I did notice with the swag, which I like, like stickers, and of course the Legion sticker. One thing I did notice was a sticker I didn't get with the last Legion, and that is apparently a window sticker. That's pretty neat. So this copy of the Sig Sauer Legion is the P229 something a little different and to make it even more different it is in 357 SIG P229 double action single action in 357 SIG in the beautiful Sig Sauer Legion and let me do my traditional baby bracelet removal and now we can take a look so like all legions this one comes with three magazines this is a full-size p229 which is a Three point, I want to say 3.9 inch barrel. I may correct myself on that, but just under 4 inches, I believe. Again, this is double action, single action, unlike my other Legion, which is a single action only, P226. So this one does have the decocker. It has the double action, single action trigger, and it has a Grey Guns um, adjustable over travel system in it and it also has the short reset trigger system and I believe a little bit of extra TLC from the factory it has all the other features of the six hour legion series we'll talk more in detail about those in a bit so you've probably already seen several legion videos if you're interested in the six hour legion but just in case you haven't here's a quick rundown of why the legion is different than just a standard six hour pistol and again in this case this is the p229 double action single action which is a long time staple pistol of six hour what makes the legion different is upgrades that they made based on what they said was feedback from I would call them the power user base. I sort of used that phrase before. So it's going to be people who carry this gun on duty or use it for military purposes or just really serious shooters. So the most obvious thing you're going to notice is the Legion Gray PVD finish, which is quite gorgeous, especially in daylight. I love seeing the look of this in sunlight. The next thing you are going to notice is the G10 grips. These black G10 grips are beautifully sculptured around the pistol and they are incredibly comfortable and grippy to hold. They are hands down my favorite. The Legion medallion logo is located right in the center of those grips on both sides, setting it apart as well. Another thing you might notice right away are the sights on the Legion series. The X-ray sights, Seg calls them, bit of a blacked out rear with just two very dim dots and a very very bright front sight which is a picture that I like a lot however these dots are all tritium so the two rear dots in the center of the front sight are all going to glow in total darkness under their own power but I'll tell you in bright daylight that front sight really jumps out very quick sight pickup other than that, the sights are the same type of sight construction. They are steel, and they are traditional Sig Sauer profile and design. The controls have been minimized, or made smaller, if you will, um, especially the slide stop control. You notice how much smaller the slide stop control is versus the traditional one, and I'll do a comparison of that for you in a minute. 
Decocker is also a little bit smaller, and they both have kind of a knurled grip pattern on them as opposed to just straight lines. Additional checkering on the front strap at 25 lines per inch also has been carried to underneath the trigger guard, which I talked about on the single action only, and of course on the front of the trigger guard, just in case you're one of those people who doesn't know how to properly shoot. We of course have the rail system just like we do on most Sig Sauer's and on all the P229 line. This is a little bit proprietary though, so unfortunately not all 1913 accessories will go right on to a Sig Sauer rail. That's one thing I'd like to see Sig come better in line with, with the rest of the industry. Magazine holds 12 rounds of either 357 SIG or 40 Smith & Wesson because these magazines are made for both of those calibers. And that brings me to another point about this particular pistol. It is 357 SIG. It was a bit of an unplanned purchase, although a very happy purchase, but probably the first thing I'm going to do is get myself a 40 Smith & Wesson barrel so that I can interchange both calibers in this pistol. And last but certainly not least, if you pick up and look at a Legion, you're going to see the Legion logo etched into the top of the slide right in front of the rear sight, telling you something is a little different and a little special about this handgun. Right, let's look at the trigger for just a minute. Now, I'm not going to measure it yet. I'll wait until after I've put at least 100 rounds through it before I measure it because it will probably loosen up a little bit and wear in a little bit. But this trigger is already excellent out of the box. So, again, this is a double action, single action. Your double action pull is a little long, and of course, it's a little heavy, like double actions usually are. But it doesn't feel that terribly heavy, and it feels very smooth. There's no, there's no felt stacking, and there's no, there's no point in the trigger pull where I'm feeling any mechanical glitches. It's very smooth. There's no stop and start. It's just same tension all the way back to the brake. And of course once you fire that first shot then you're going to be in single action mode. The reset is incredibly short. There you go, that's it. Just a twitch of the finger and then very light and crisp break. Legion Series also features a solid steel guide rod as opposed to the hollow tube guide rod that is typical for Sig Sauer pistols. Okay, so there she is, the beautiful Sig Sauer P229 Legion 357 Sig. Let's get this thing out and put a hundred through it. So I dropped in a 40 Smith & Wesson barrel and then just like I had done for the P226 single action only Legion I decided to put the first hundred rounds through this gun at an IDPA match. So this is a little bit different first hundred video but don't worry I will also do a much more traditional first hundred with the 357 barrel and 357 ammo. But here's a first look at the SIG Legion P229, chambered this time in 40 Smith & Wesson.
Shooter ready. Yes, sir. Stand by. Okay, so for a quick comparison and demonstration, here is SIG P229C. And there's our slide stop control, which is the normal size slide stop control. You can see the decocker as well. And then here is the P229 Legion. And you see the slide stop control there. So you can see just how much they really reduced that control. Much more snag free and presumably much more difficult to accidentally have your thumb on. Not a problem I typically have with these pistols, but Something obviously that uh, a lot of folks had requested as an improvement and SIG responded. So there's the comparison, sort of the uh, non-Legion versus Legion controls. It's got long arms. There's a hundred. Because who ever heard of a first 90 anyway? What do you think? Yeah, it's nice. It is nice, isn't it? Yeah. 
it's been a really long time. I mean, like probably I'm thinking four or five years at least since I've shot a double action, single action gun in a competition. So it was a bit getting used to um, making my draw and having that first heavy double action pull, which is about nine and a half, not quite nine and a half pounds the way I've measured it in this gun. But the gun performed flawlessly, not a single malfunction of any kind, no hiccups, and I only wish that I could perform as well as this gun. Okay, there it is. Stay tuned for the next first hundred, Six Hour Legion, P229, and 357 SIG. Thank you.